Wes, how mean friend and welcome to another video. Please, my dear friends, look at the screen. Netflix is pulling Amazon Prime video, my dear friends, and breaking the law of the Witcher. Oh yes, my dear friends, the article of bounding into comics goes, Netflix is the Witcher, Blood Origin, executive producer Lauren Hisrick reveals prequel series to introduce Black Elf as series ancestor. Now, this is not really uh, mainly and exclusively about uh, the color of the skin of that particular ancestor. It's more about, well, everything, because we know who the first recorded ancestor of Ciri in the Witcher saga was. And uh, Netflix is going out of their way to create, well, wait for it, Netflix's original characters and making them the ancestors of Siri. Oh yes, indeed. I will not uh, read the entire article uh, from its very beginning because it uh, first just reiterates and repeats things that have already been covered before. But I shall, instead of this, uh, focus on uh, the latter part of the article that, uh, well, uh, specifically talks about uh, the change to the law, but also about uh, the uh, race swap of uh, the character in question, as well as uh, the stance of the author, Andrzej Sapkowski, on the entire matter. Uh, not specifically this, but uh, on uh, adaptations and changes to his works of art. So I shall read it out and then provide you with my take on it some more. With Hisrick's reference to ale carrying said seed, this means that rather than Ciri's first recorded ancestors being the elves Siadal and King Oberon, they will instead be the Netflix original characters and her eventual consort. So this really refers to that Blood Origin uh, TV show that is going to come out very soon. I think that only one season of like a prequel, uh, Netflix is constructed prequel to the Witcher series that is going to be uh, like set thousands of years before the events. And uh, apparently um, there is going to be uh, a Netflix's original character and another one and another one and another one. And two of them are going to become the first sort of kind of ancestors to Siri, which of course uh, is wrong, is anti-canonical. And we all know what to think about um, uh, Netflix's and Amazon's original characters and Blake, uh, breaking the law and being anti-canonical and so on uh, and so on and so forth. We have lived through this with the Rings of Power more than enough. I have covered all the episodes of the Rings of Prime and I had been talking about the fact that there is no chance that anybody can uh, do Professor Tolkien justice, that they cannot adapt classical stories, fantasy, high fantasy, uh, in 2022 so that it uh, honors both the source material and the craft itself, storytelling, because nowadays the filmmakers and the entertainment industry in, in general, they're not focusing on providing you with good stories, on adapting the source material so it is faithful. No, absolutely not. All Hollywood is bowing down to the gods of inclusion, representation and diversity to present the stories for the modern audience. They don't care about the good stories. They don't care about fantasy at all. But we all know that. And uh, we are being proved right again and again, over and over. So The Rings of Power, uh, season one ended. Uh, the Witcher is... Well, leaving, basically, uh, Henry Cavill is leaving his role as the Witcher. He's going to reprise the role for one more season that has already been already been recorded, the, the third season. And in the fourth season, there will be no Henry Cavill because he knows very well what is being happening or what is being done to the Witcher. The, the showrunners and the screenwriters and the directors are openly mocking the source material. They have said that. They have admitted it. So what do you think? What do you think? Do you really expect to get a decent uh, adaptation of The Witcher? Not even talking about bloody prequels and sequels and spin-offs. 
So let us continue. It should be noted that while, as admitted by Sapkowski, skin color isn't discussed in detail in my book so the adapters can freely show their craft, everything is possible and everything is allowed. That's how it could have uh, been, after all. Brown's Black Elf is a significant de uh, deviation from how the fantasy peoples have been historically depicted. Though they are not blanket described in the original books, as seen in such mediums as CD Projekt Red's aforementioned video game trilogy, and the official artwork for the series Gwent TCG spin-off, the elves in The Witcher have typically been depicted as pale-skinned and having extremely light-colored hair. Well, so this is the ending of the article that I wanted to read out, and um, it, it says it all. Uh, so what Netflix is doing, that they are going against uh, all the, well, everything basically, all the depictions of elves in all the media, uh, in the in the video games, in the previous uh, TV shows, by which I mean in the Polish Witcher, if I can remember correctly, in the art books, uh, in the Gwent uh, card games, and so on and so forth, the the action figurines and all the merchandise. And uh, why why do you think they are doing this? Well, simply virtue signaling and checking boxes. Now there will be people. I'm one hundred percent sure will be saying, oh yes, but uh, after m millennia and millennia and millennia uh, of uh, descendants, uh, you know, uh, Siri can look the way she looks like, even though one of her ancestors was of a darker skin. And I will go like, yes, well, of course, that is a possibility, but we all know and we both know what the reason is. So don't lie to yourself and don't lie to me and don't, don't pretend to be idiot. Don't pretend to be stupid. We all know what's going on. We all are very well aware of it. So I'm not satisfied with this. I am not content. I do disagree with changing the law under any circumstances. Now, this does not only concern a race swapping of a character, but every change to the law. Now, you know, if you've been following my channel for quite some time, that I am um, a purist, a literary purist. I don't like adaptations at all. There are exceptions that I'm willing to, willing to make here and there from time to time, such as The Lord of the Rings by Peter Jackson, but it's really as far as I can go. Otherwise, every single change to the law uh, makes me feel uneasy. But I'm sure that uh, most of you uh, share this feeling. But uh, this is, uh, of course, once again, one step further, just getting rid of, or, of uh, ancestors that are canonical and making up their own original Netflix ancestors. Well, I don't know. It seems to me that Netflix is competing with Prime Video in uh, breaking the law. Well, nevertheless, let me know in the comments and let me know what you think. And thank you very much for watching. Namariye.